Hey, it's Pamela out on the trail. Get my walk in. I went way down there and back. Today's word is, you know, if you've been around people that have discredited you and uh, demoralized you, discredited you for your faith, thought they could step up and teach you something, um, that, you know, you're older and you've been walking on your journey for a while. I mean, some of the people weren't even born yet that are trying to school you and teach you about who God is or what they think he is because they may be intimidated by the Jesus that you love. But um, I'm here today to tell you, you know, if you've been discredited, you know, you've got a God you can go to. You know, a lot of people have come up against me in my life that were atheists, that were Jewish people in my family, to be right, to not respect one another's feelings about the God that they love and serve. But you know what? The God that I know, that I serve, He isn't a God of pride. He isn't a God of um, self-righteousness. He's actually a God of uh, brokenness. He came for the broken. He came for the fatherless. He came for people just as I. And, uh, you know, you just ask him to fill you. Now, you can't get filled up if the glass is full. you got to know that that's got to be empty. So have you ever tried to put oil, a healing oil, which the Lord is, in a glass that's full? It's not going to fill. It's just going to overflow, right? So what we have to do is we have to kind of empty ourselves out, okay? And when you empty yourself out, that's a good thing. Because when you're empty, you can get filled. And so, um, sometimes in my life I haven't been emptied out enough. And sometimes there isn't any room to fill anything. And so when God wants to fill you up, you need to be emptied out. That means you need to just like be broken, just be hurt. You know, has anybody ever had a bruise? You know when you get a bruise, where does that blood rush to? Does that blood rush to that bruise? It does, doesn't it? And it flows. The blood flows to that hurt, that pain. So today, you know, I'm doing a little shout out about being empty so God can fill you. Because if God can fill you, He's going to fill you. But you got to ask Him. And, and it's a good thing to be broken. It's a good thing for people in your families to, to uh, discredit you or to make you feel like you, you don't have worth or... Whatever they might do or friends can come and go, but there's a God that loves you. And I'm here today to tell you, you need to get broken. You need to get empty so he can fill you in, in, in parts of your life. And then after he fills you, it's a great thing because you have this peace. And uh, you're still going to have a battle, the good fight. But you're going to be able to say, you know, that person that's discrediting me, that needs to feel good about their self while they're discrediting me about my faith or anything about me, then, you know, I, I need to pray for them as well. Because the more, the more you discredit me, the more empty I become. And I want to be empty so I can get full. I'm full this morning and I'm ready. There's a lot of Goliaths in people's families, a lot of Goliaths in people's lives. So, you know, you know what happened with him, right? Yeah. You know, God God prepared David to sling that. And and it was kind of scary. That, that dude was hollering at him. People in your life will holler at you and discredit you. They weren't even born yet, half of them. But you know what? We can teach them something. But we really don't know the hearts of men. We don't know the, the sons and daughters that love their mothers. And if we think we do and we can, you know, say something about it, you know, then... That's your journey, but my God fills me, and I'm full today. And this Miss Cool saying, get empty so you can get full. Bye now.